Hi guys, it's Danny from Art by Marlene's Promo Team for 2019. Today I wanted to show you a nice scrapbook page in my art journal. I'm using Art by Marlene's large art journal. I've just pulled a page out of the ring binder and I'm going to use these circle background stamps. I'm not using an acrylic block here, but just hand pressure and archival ink. I'm looking for some sort of partial random stamping in the background. Now here I'm using some grunge paste and I'm going to use some fluoro acrylic paint. I'm just going to mix that acrylic paint into the texture paste. I needed to use a fair bit of it because it's quite translucent and I wanted to keep it quite heavily pigmented. So be wary of that when using translucent paints. So here I've used the TCW Art by Marlene's kitchen tiles. I'm using a palette knife just to scrape that texture paste through the um, stencil and once that's completely dry I can activate my watercolors so this is up by Marlene's bold and bright set I'm using a fairly wet brush and as you can see I sprayed directly into the palette and onto my page and I'm slopping that paint down by using quite a bit of water in the brush that helps to keep the paint fairly translucent so I can still see all that stamping through the paint. Now just adding a bit of orange and again just using a really wet brush so that I can encourage that translucency and also the drippage. I really like all those paint runs that we're getting there. I've used my sprocket printer to print out a small photo. These are little sticky backed photos. I've mounted it onto black cardstock and here you can see I've used a collection of Art by Marlene's floral stamp sets. I've painted and fussy cut these out prior to the video and I've in some cases stamped them twice and just cut out small elements, the centres of the flowers, pop them in on dimensional tape. So I'm just trying to work out my layout here. I'm just sort of arranging pieces and using book papers as well. This helps to tone down the background a little. Now I'm getting ready to stick down the papers. And I'm adding some foam dots to the back of this photo as well, just to lift it off the page slightly. So it doesn't get lost under all the floral elements. I've got a little bit of fluoro cotton here and I'm just going to add that in the background for a little bit more added texture. So I'm just going to use a bit of wet glue to stick that down. Now I'm going to add all these flowers back down, arranging them around the, the actual photo in a pleasing manner. So some of them will be on foam tape and others will just be glued directly down with a glue stick. This just gives it a little bit more dimension and a bit more visual interest having them at different levels. Just using fine liners and markers, Posca pens to put in the fine elements in the flowers. Masking off with a little bit of scrap paper and I'm going to use some fluoro pink here. Watering it down to make a nice consistency so that I can splatter all over the page. That just saves the photo getting damaged with more paint. And just to finish off here I'm using the Distress Ink around the edge to frame off the page. Just sort of finishes it off.
So there you go, a nice easy scrapbook page for my journal. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.